Okay, grade nines, we're gonna go over how to get this uh, calculation done for your My First Apartment. So you're going to need to have certain things in your apartment and we've already listed the ones that you have to have, your water heater, your refrigerator, your lighting, your stove, and your television. Now, why you have to have lighting is because in an apartment, you often don't have lights in the living room, so you use the lamps for that. So we're gonna go through first and foremost, the water heater. And the reason why we're going to do this is because all of you have to do this one. So our water heater, if we look on the sheet, I'm just gonna flip through, so it's on the third-ish page, but it has all the power ratings here. So you don't have to go look those up. You can if you want to, but you can pick most of them from here. So you're gonna have your water heater. It tells you that it uses 3,500 watts whenever it is turned on. The other thing that that sheet tells you is that generally they're used for about three hours per day. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get that into kilowatt hours. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our wattage and we're going to divide it by a thousand. So 3,500 watts divided by a thousand will give us 3.5 kilowatts. So then we know that our formula is energy is equal to power times time, which is 3.5 kilowatts times our three hours. So this gives us 10.5 kilowatt hours per day. So now how do we get how many per day into how much energy we use per month? Well, there is 30 approximately days a month. So we are going to take our 10.5 kilowatt hours per day and multiply it by 30 days per month. Now with unit analysis, you're gonna just cancel out those days and now we're going to have, I'm just gonna draw a line here so you guys can see the difference, um, 315 kilowatt hours per month. Then for the next one, to find out the cost of energy per year, we need to do a 12 months per year times 0 0.07 dot like that so 7 cents per kilowatt hour so you're going to take your 315 kilowatt hours per month times it by 12 months per year, oops, that's not how you spell year. I did the abbreviation and then tried to spell it out. Year times 0 0.07 dollars per kilowatt hour. Now, if you watch, you're gonna cancel out our kilowatt hours, you're gonna cancel out our months, and our answer will be in dollars per year. So once you calculate all of that through, just for the water heater alone, it's gonna be $264.60 per year.